you can shrink the virtual disk, making them much smaller and taking up less space on your actual computer. One way to do this is to wipe the free space on the operating system and then use the built-in tools that come from VMware to shrink the disk. So in this example, we have a Kali Linux virtual machine and it's running on a Mac, but the procedures are much the same for any combination. So for example, you might have a Linux virtual machine running on Windows or a Windows virtual machine running on Mac or whatever. For Windows, wiping free space is easy. You can download utilities like CCleaner and they'll automatically wipe the free space for you. In Linux, you can use uh, tools like SFIL. So for example, you can do apt get install, secure delete, and install that. I've already installed this package, so we're ready to go. This comes with a tool called SFIL. With SFIL, you can fill the disks with zeros. We'll use the fast mode, double L for insecure, which means we're just going to do one pass, and then dash Z to write zeros. And we'll put in the root partition. So you run this command, and this will place zeros onto the partition wherever there's free space or free inodes, it won't hurt the existing data on the system. To do this in the Mac, you can use the disk util and go to the erase tab and then select uh, the free space option. In Windows, again, you can download CCleaner and down at the bottom of the options, there will be a, an option for wiping the free space. In any case, oh, disks have a lot of free space on them and this operation is going to take a lot of time. Once the free space is wiped, you'll find the VMware command line utility that shrinks the disk. So in this case, again, we're using Linux as our example, but same operation on other operating systems. In Windows, this will be in the C drive, right in the program files and underneath the virtual machine tools. So what we're looking for is the VMware tools. We're going to use the VMware toolbox command. And they have a utility inside of that called disk. And the disk then can do some different operations and we're going to use the shrink only. So when we click on that option, it'll go ahead and start the shrinking process. And depending on the size of the virtual machine and the size of its disk, this operation can take from a few minutes to more than 10. Once the operation is complete, you'll see the disk shrinking complete message. And you'll notice that this virtual disk is taking up a lot less space on your real hard drive.